Well, good morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so glad to be able to be back and just having a wonderful time with my family and my mother, uh, church family that may be watching this. Um, I am looking forward uh, to, to joining you the first Sunday in January, but I do want to invite you to join us tomorrow night. That's New Year's Eve, December 31st at 7 o'clock. I'm going to share Thursday night a message about how to look forward to a new year. Uh, 2020 has, uh, has been crazy, and I know everyone's probably looking forward to 2021, but there's a lot of uncertainty. And how do we look forward to it when we have all of these uncertain feelings? I'm going to talk about that tomorrow night, December 31st, New Year's Eve at 7 o'clock, right here from my home. I, I welcome you this morning. I want to share a short devotion before I do that. We appreciate you giving this a like and a share. Our YouTube channel, please consider subscribing there at Christian Life Church of Belgium. You can type that in at YouTube. Also, our website, christianlifechurch.us. I want to talk to you about this thought, one resolution. Our scripture reading this morning in our devotion is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12. It says, for now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I also am known. You know, most people make New Year's resolutions, but research shows that most people don't achieve them. Today, tonight, whenever you're watching this, is a good day to think about simplifying the whole process of New Year's resolutions. You say, how do I do that, Pastor Harris? You do that by making only one. There's one resolution guaranteed to be achievable and impact all your other goals for 2021. You say, what is that? Here's the one. Seek wisdom from God every day. I want to say that again. Seek wisdom from God every day. One of the Old Testament meanings of wisdom was skill. A wise person was skilled in living. See the book of Proverbs. If we ask God for wisdom, James chapter 1 verse 5 says he will provide it. Ask him and he'll provide. And if God provides wisdom, then every day we will become more skilled at living life in a way that is fruitful, in a way that is honoring to God. If we ask for wisdom and are serious about applying wisdom in our lives, then all of life will become better. Finances, personal goals, relationships, getting some direction for the future, marriage, family, everything will go better if we ask God daily for wisdom. We see life right now, we see it dimly, like looking through a dark or foggy glass. Therefore, we need wisdom to see more clearly. Ask God for wisdom today. Ask God for wisdom in 2021, every day of the year. D. Edmund Hybert said this, He who has a constant longing for wisdom will persistently pray for it. Well, friend, that's one resolution that I believe again, is guaranteed to be achievable and impact all of your other goals in 2021. I want to invite you back tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. I'm going to share with you a special Bible study. And in that Bible study, we're going to talk about how to look forward to a new year. Don't forget, give this a like and a share. If I don't see you or connect with you before, I wish you a very happy new year. God bless you is our prayer.